So welcome back everyone. I have got a drill hack for you today that I learned from my grandfather years ago that's going to blow your mind. So here's the problem. Let's say that we're drilling through something and there is something precious on the other side. Well, how many of us have been pushing and pushing, especially in really hard material, and then it goes through and it gouges your table or it puts a dent in sheet metal or, or whatever it has um, and it makes you, makes you sad, it breaks your heart. Let me show you a little trick. All right. We've got an egg right here, right? Something precious, something delicate. I'll put that egg right here. And let's say we do not want to damage that egg because it's precious to us, whatever that may be. All right, so I'm going to try really hard to stop drilling. What have we got there? Half inch, stop drilling before I hit the egg. Here we go. I'm going to do my best. I'm a very experienced drill operator. Oh, I was really trying. Look, look what we've done. Look at that. We've broken the egg. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's really hard to do, even though I knew I was coming to the end of it. So just to be thorough, I'm going to have Jack here attempt the same thing, and I'm going to give him great incentive to not drill through this and hit the egg. So what you have to do is to drill through at a, at a good speed right here without stopping or going slow, just a normal speed the way you would drill. And if you can stop that drill bit before it pokes through the other side into the egg, I'll play video games with you for a half hour. Go. Oops. Goodness, what have you done, Jack? You see, it's hard, that's the point. The thing is that you're pushing so hard that you break through and then it just smashes into the egg. That's what I'm saying. What if that was your kneecap? Well, we'd better be careful then. Here's the trick. All you need is a small piece of tubing or a piece of pipe. This is PEX pipe, half inch PEX pipe. You can use PVC, you can use copper tubing, you could use a ball pen cap. It doesn't make any difference. Anything that's a little bit larger in diameter than the hole. So what I'll do, do so let's say for example, I wanna drill a hole that's just under three quarters of an inch. This here is three quarters of an inch. So what I can do is I can put the pipe on there, the tubing, and I can slide that up just a little bit and just kind of index that with my finger Put that in my drill. Oh, don't do this to me. Right there, put this in my, my drill, slide it up, tighten up the chuck. Now I can double check this here to see, make sure, okay, indeed, I am not gonna go through. So let's say I have a nice work surface here, or my workbench that, that I don't want to mar or to drill holes into. Now I can simply go as hard and fast as I want. And the pipe is going to prevent me from going through. Let me show you another, another application that I was using this earlier that uh, was, was really helpful. So those of you guys who subscribe to my channel have seen this earlier, but we're converting a 2017 Ford Transit into kind of a weekend van, kind of a fun ex adventure van, and we're, we're mounting things up. We've got a body here that's got two layers. We've got the exterior layer, which is the nice one, you know, what we're going to see outside that we don't want to mar. Then we've got the interior here that we're going to use for mounting different things, you know, bed rails and cabinets and such. And I don't care how careful you are, if you, if you drill enough holes, if I need to drill a hole through here to mount something, the, the chance of, of the drill bit catching and pulling through and putting a big dent on the other side is very, very high. So by doing this and using this, this kind of pipe trick right here, we can only expose just the little bit of the drill bit that we need, there being only three quarters of an inch, and then when and if it does pop through, it's safely arrested from going through the hole into the, into the bodywork. So that's uh, another application, so they're just limitless, but get yourself, uh, most of your drill bits in your index are gonna be pretty much the same size. A lot of them, you can cut two or three of those, have several sizes nearby in your kit, and just throw them in your tool bag, and then you can have something that works. And you know, the chucks, there's a lot of depth adjustability in the chucks on these, so usually you can make one work with multiple different sizes of bits, so that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll try to make a more of an effort to share these little tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years and been taught by my dad and grandfather uh, into their own short videos. You know, oftentimes these things I feature them in specific videos that don't are hard to search and most people won't be able to find. Let's say you're not interested in a van conversion. Well, you wouldn't wouldn't find out about you know tricks like this that might help you in other things. So I'll try to do more of those little things. So don't forget to uh, click the thumbs up if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to comment, we really appreciate it. And 
That's it. We'll see you guys on the next video.